Welcome back. We're going to find the volume of a cylinder. The formula for the volume of a cylinder is the same as the volume of a prism. It's the area of the base times the height of this cylinder. Well, in this case, we see our cylinder here. This circular base has a radius of 8, which means the diameter would be 16 if we needed that. And the distance between the circular bases is 18, so that represents the height of the cylinder, even though it's turned this way, turned sideways. The volume formula for any prism is area of the base times height of the cylinder. For us, since the base is a circle, the area of the base will be pi times the radius squared, and the height is still the same. So pi, we're going to use 3.14. Radius squared becomes 8 squared. And height is 18. Now if I put all that in the calculator, and I round it to the nearest tenth, I get 3,617.3. And this will be units cubed. Now the question may arise, what if the answer needs to be in terms of pi? How do we handle that? Well, in terms of pi just means that you're not going to put 3.14 or any other decimal approximation for pi. You're going to leave this symbol. So at the point of the problem where we had pi r squared h, and we started to substitute values, we would leave the pi symbol there. 8 squared would be there. 18 would be there. But we didn't, we didn't put 3.14 anywhere. That's the, the idea. We're not putting uh, that 3.14 in. We're leaving the pi symbol there to represent it. But everything else still gets multiplied out. We get 1,152. The pi symbol remains in the answer. We're going to have units cubed. And this is now the volume in terms of pi. These values are the same. One leaves it in terms of pi. One of them gives you a full decimal answer. Sometimes this is referred to as exact because we did not use an approximated value of pi. See you next time.